All right, guys, what is going on? My name is Mr. Boss for the Win, and I've got some pretty awesome Black Ops 2 information for you guys today. Anyways, I really appreciate all the support on the last few videos. Uh, a little bit about the game. Uh, I'm on my backup account, which is FPS McDuck, and uh, on this account, you know, I just go into games solo like Ground War and Kill Confirmed, and, um, you know, I speed up the first few minutes. The final score is really good, but I die like three times in the beginning and then like once after that, so... Pretty good gameplay. I would really appreciate a like on this video. Uh, you know, I, I love the support that you guys have been showing me throughout the past few days. It's been awesome. Anyway, some good news for uh, Zombies players and Season Pass holders. So, Nuketown 2025 was, oh, excuse me, Nuketown 2025 was supposed to be a, uh, a pre-order bonus. I get really lucky right here with the AFK guy. Anyway, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. <clears throat> and then... Uh, the Nuketown Zombies map was supposed to be a release for the Hardened Edition. Well, it turns out that it's going to be available, uh, obviously, for Season Pass users. But it looks like there's going to be, I guess, a slight delay, or there was kind of an error in the listing for uh, the Z Nuketown Zombies. So, what a nice lightning strike. Anyways, so I'm going to show you a picture on the screen right now. And that picture is basically just like the download link for Nuketown Zombies. Uh, it's supposed to be available, like, early or later December. But... For season pass holders who have already paid for all the maps, when you try to click on that, I tried to click on that as well, uh, it gives you an error. So what I'm thinking is, is they accidentally put it available for, uh, you know, for download when it's not technically available yet. I think they put the picture right there. Um, so here's an update. Activision has confirmed that it was a mistake and was not supposed to be available yet. Nuketown Zombies is still coming sometime this month for Xbox season pass holders. I'm assuming it's going to be... I would guess maybe a few days before Christmas time because Activision and Treyarch knows they're going to get a lot of sales from uh, you know the Christmas season and uh, you know uh, if their parent or whoever bought them this gift purchased a season pass with it the first thing they're going to want to do is get the Nuketown Zombies. I'm excited about Nuketown Zombies and uh, Activision and Treyarch have yet to like I said announce an official date. It'll be on the Xbox Live store first for season pass holders. PlayStation 3 and PC Season Pass holders will get access to the map in January as Xbox kind of gets all DLCs first, which I don't really agree with. I don't I don't like the idea of putting a console ahead of another, putting a PC ahead of another, but when you're dealing with money, which is what uh, Activision, uh, a business is, their goal is to make money, Xbox is going to give them, essentially, when Xbox gets games and DLCs early, Essentially, all they've done is written a really big check to Treyarch saying, okay, we want our guys to get things first before PlayStation guys or P uh, PlayStation 3 guys. So that's how that deal works. It's not that, like, uh, Treyarch likes the Xbox anymore or they, you know, have favorable, you know, coding for the Xbox. I mean, I'm sure they do because there's some PS3 bugs that have been going around, but... Anyways, like I said, that's not the case. They just write them a pretty big check, and so uh, Activision drops the DLC first for the Xbox 360. But uh, I want you guys to uh, leave a comment down below. What do you think about Nuketown Zombies? I know a lot of you guys have the Hardened Edition. I've played Nuketown Zombies a little bit. I think it is really fun. Zombies in this game, I think, is underrated. With all the multiplayer changes that have been going on, I have had a great time playing Zombies. I've been playing with my friend Taylor and his friends. We've been doing a lot of transit games, and uh, those have been a lot of fun. Sure, they're time-consuming, but you know the, the experience you get playing Zombies is a whole lot of fun. Also, let me know what you think about, uh, you know, this is kind of a console war topic, so I guess you could write in the comment down below. What do you think about the Xbox getting games first? Do you think it's justified because the Xbox, uh, you know, they, they pay for their games and, and uh, whatnot, you know, they have to pay for a, uh, you know, a subscription to Xbox Live, or, or do you think it's just wrong? Do you think everyone should get, uh, you know, consoles and uh, DLCs at the same time? So anyways, guys, my name is Mr. Boss the Wind. Thanks for liking this video. Thanks for checking it out. Subscribe if you're new. I'm always looking for new members of the Mr. Boss of the Win Army. I appreciate all the support. Other than that, guys, I'm taking off. Have a nice day. Enjoy your holiday break, and I will see you guys in the next video.